Welcome to a lesson on solving quadratic inequalities graphically. When solving inequality graphically, we need to remember that f of x or y is greater than zero, where the graph of f of x is above the x-axis, f of x or y is equal to zero, where the graph of f of x intersects the x-axis, and f of x or y is less than zero, where the graph of f of x is below the x-axis. Using the graph provided, we're asked to solve f of x greater than zero. Let's first highlight the part of the graph where f of x is above the x-axis. f of x is above the x-axis over this interval here. And because f of x equals zero is not part of the solution, we do not include where the graph intersects the x-axis. So let's sketch an open point on x equals negative three and at x equals four. The solution is the set of x values for which the graph of f of x is above the x-axis, and therefore the solution is when x is between negative three and positive four, not including the endpoints. So this is the graph of the solution. Let's graph this again on the number line. So we have from negative three to positive four, and we do not include the endpoints, and therefore this is the graph of the solution. As an inequality, we can say that x is less than four and greater than negative three. Or we can break this up into two inequalities using the word and. X is less than four and X is greater than negative three. Using interval notation, we have the interval from negative three to positive four. We don't include the endpoints and therefore we have, we have a run of parenthesis to the left of negative three and to the right of positive four. Next, we're asked to solve F of X greater than or equal to zero. So let's highlight the part of the graph that is on the x-axis or the x-intercepts, as well as the part of the graph above the x-axis. f of x is equal to zero at x equals six, and at x equals zero. f of x is greater than zero over this piece of the graph and over this piece of the graph. And again, the solution is the set of x values for which the graph of f of x is above or on the x-axis, and therefore the solution is x greater than or equal to six, or x less than or equal to zero. So graphing on the number line, we have zero, we have six, and again, x is greater than or equal to six, or x is less than or equal to zero. Remember, to the right we approach positive infinity, to the left we approach negative infinity. As an inequality, we have x is less than or equal to zero or x is greater than or equal to six. Using interval notation, we have the interval from zero to negative infinity. We include zero, so we have a square bracket to the right. And for positive and negative infinity, we always use a round of parenthesis. And then we have union, the interval from six to infinity, including six. We have a square bracket to the left of six and a round of parenthesis to the right of infinity. Next, we're asked to solve f of x less than or equal to zero. So we highlight the graph that is below the x-axis as well as the x-intercept or where the graph is on the x-axis. This is the part of the graph where f of x is less than or equal to zero. And therefore the solution is when x is on the closed interval from negative two to positive four, meaning this time we include the two endpoints. So again, we have the closed interval from negative two to positive four as the graph of the solution. As an inequality, we have x is less than or equal to four and greater than or equal to negative two. Using interval notation, we have the interval from negative two to positive four. We include both endpoints, and therefore we have a square bracket to the left and to the right. And for our last example, we're asked to solve f of x less than zero, and therefore let's highlight the part of the graph that is only below the x-axis. So we don't include the x-intercepts where f of x is equal to zero, only the part of the graph that is below the x-axis. So we have an open point here and here, and then we highlight the part of the graph that is below the x-axis. The solution will be the set of x values for which f of x is less than zero, which is where the graph is below the x-axis, and therefore the solution is when x is greater than positive four 
or less than negative three. Let's go ahead and graph this on the number line. As an inequality, we have x is less than negative three or x is greater than four. To the right, we approach positive infinity. To the left, we approach negative infinity, which means for interval notation, if the first interval is from negative three to negative infinity. We don't include negative three, so we have a rounded parenthesis of the right and the left. Union, the interval from four to infinity, which is four comma infinity. Neither endpoint is included and therefore we use a parenthesis to the left and right. I hope you found this helpful.